USA Today reporting Generation Z worries about paying for college and getting a job. The next generation of adults gets it. College is going to be expensive. Saving money is important, and the job market isn't very promising. It's depressing. Much of Generation Z, or those roughly ages 13 to 22, show a high understanding of those financial and economic truths in a survey on the financial habits and concerns of Gen Z and their parents by TD Ameritrade. Both Gen Z and their parents listed jobs and unemployment first when asked to identify their biggest concerns about the economy, mentioned by roughly a quarter of both groups. Wow. So the biggest concern of 13 to 22-year-olds and their parents which I have one child that's in that range. I have a 20-year-old, my youngest. The biggest concern is the job market and the cost of college. Hmm. I think someone missed the point. Because when I hear that, my biggest concern is that people no longer are teaching lemonade stands. See, every kid ought to have a lemonade stand. They ought to walk a dog, shovel the neighbor's dog poop out of their garage while the neighbor is on vacation and get paid for it. Mow some grass, babysit the neighbor's brats. I mean children. Clean their own freaking rooms. We have... Have we in this country now become so socialized, as in socialism, that we have trained an entire generation to look out on the landscape of America and say, who's going to give me a job? Boy, it sounds like it, doesn't it? See, that's the wrong question for young people to be asking, or old people for that matter. It's the wrong question for people to be asking. Who's going to give me a job? What that implies is is that you have inherent worth because you breathe freaking air. You don't have worth, economically speaking, until you bring value to the marketplace. Just because you're a waitress doesn't mean you're a good one. When you bring my freaking food, and shortly after that my check, now you are a waitress. And you have become economically value, valuable. You know why? Because you served someone. You didn't look at me and say, where's my tip? You looked at me and said, how can I take care of you, my loving customer that I'm so glad to have? And so we need to teach these little Generation Zs and their socialism-oriented parents that nobody owes you a freaking job. Until you bring value to the marketplace. So instead of looking out at the landscape with your lack of vision and saying, where are my jobs? The job market doesn't look very promising. Who's going to give me a job? Instead of asking these boneheaded, numb-minded questions, why don't we teach people to look at the marketplace and say, how may I serve you? Mr. Employer, I can bring you more value, Mrs. Employer, than I cost you. You're only going to have to pay me $50,000 a year, and I'm going to bring your company $150,000, because I'm so valuable. How may I serve you, sir? Ma'am, how may I assist you? How can I cook some food for you? How can I fix your car? How can I cut your grass, build your home, do your taxes? How may I serve you? What kind of teaching can I teach? What can I teach you that is of value to you so that you're more than willing to pay for it because, my goodness, you paid me $10 for that book and it gave you the ideas and the systems to make you a millionaire. That was called bringing value. How may I add value to you, marketplace? I am a member of the free enterprise system. I believe in capitalism. How may I sell you some lemonade, sir? Would you like pink lemonade, yellow lemonade, or the clear kind called water? We've got it all here. 
Would you like a full suit of clothes, or you to, do you prefer blue jeans that are already razor cut and look worn out for you? How can I serve you? What is it you want or need or desire? What kind of app can I put on your freaking iPhone that will change your life? How may I serve you? How may I add value to your organization? Thus you are glad you hired me. Not the job market doesn't look very promising. The job market doesn't look very promising because honestly, the people asking that question are freaking idiots. And we're raising more and more and more of them. We saw them running around. They were called Operation Wall Street a few months ago. These are morons. Loose in America. And it's you parents' fault. Because you didn't teach them the value of the free enterprise system. You didn't teach them the value of capitalism. You didn't teach them that if they paint a beautiful picture, write some fabulous poetry... Not in their opinion, but in the marketplace's opinion, then they can become wealthy and live their dreams. When they add value to other people's lives, you know how Bill Gates became the richest man in America? He added value to people's lives all over the world. I went to the doctor's office and had an x-ray this morning before the sun was up. And you know the interesting thing? They took a picture. And it was on the computer before I got back into the room. Twenty years ago, we would have had to send out for film. Bill Gates is a millionaire because of that action. A multi-billionaire because of that action. And he should be. He brought value. Steve Jobs brought value. Michael Dale brought value. Truett Cathy brings value when I get my hot egg and cheese and bacon chicken biscuit. Now my mouth's watering from Chick-fil-A. Thank you very much. They add value. How may I serve you, Marketplace? This is the question Generation Z needs to be asking. When they learn to ask that question, their worries will evaporate. There's no reason to worry. There's opportunity everywhere. There are people everywhere that have a desire to do something, be something, and, and have something that they've never had before. All you have to do is help them get it. We need to reopen the lemonade stand, parents. Teach your children the free enterprise system. Don't teach them socialism. Then they don't have to worry about the president providing them a freaking job. Because that's really not his job, you idiots. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.